Hey everyone, thank you for checking out another Creati online tutorial. Today we're working with the page builder and WordPress theme Bricks. Um, Bricks is a great tool if you want to build websites uh, without using code. Um, and they are uh, supportive of Lottie. However, there are some things you'll need to know to make Lottie work. You'll need to download a couple plugins, and we will walk you through this process step by step. Um, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. We're coming with a lot of new Lottie content, so keep an eye out for our videos. Okay, let's get started. The first step is you need a plugin that will handle your um, JSON files. So this plugin is called WordPress Extra File Types. Um, if you want to find it, just Extra File Types right here. And um, so this will handle JSON animations. When you go to add a Lottie on Bricks, it takes you directly to your media library. And by default, WordPress blocks JSON files. Um, just any file with a .json that you try to upload, you'll get an error message. So the process doesn't work without making some adjustments. And once you have this downloaded, you can go into your settings, check only file extensions, and then find JSON. Oh, where is it? JSON, there we go. JavaScript object notation, make sure that box is checked. Then make sure you scroll to the bottom and save your changes. Uh, there's other ways to allow JSON files, but they require changing either the PHP or the, um, the code in your theme. So adding this plugin does it for you and it's very easy. So next up, Brixable. We'll need a plugin to handle your, um, there we go, Brixable for Bricks. This will give you a Lottie element. Um, Bricks doesn't come out of the box with a Lottie widget, so you'll need to download this free plugin. Um, last updated two weeks ago, so very current. Um, and um, this will give you a Lottie element, and then you can easily add JSON animations. Okay, now let's go into Creati and download our file because we are ready to add Lottie to Bricks. Let's go search by collections, and let's use a success animation. Go with this high five. Uh, let's say we want to change the color a little bit. Maybe make this guy burgundy, brownish. Change his. Okay. You can also change up the skin tones. Looks good. And we will download the file. I'm going to show you two ways to add Lotties. Uh, one is by downloading file. The other is grabbing a link from this embed. I'm going to show you the first way in Bricks. Let's go to our pages. I have a um, template up just for this tutorial. I'm going to replace this image placeholder with a Lottie. So we'll click this plus button for the elements. 
and thanks to Brixable, we have Lottie. So as you can see, that is what from here up is what we get by default in Bricks, and this is all the Bricks, Brixable um, plugins that we've added, and Lottie's one of them. So we'll drag that in. We'll get a placeholder animation. Okay, and uh, to make edits, you want to click on the Lottie, and then we can go into this Lottie file tab and change the source. Right now, it's running from this um, URL. We're going to change that to upload JSON file. Select file. Then it takes us to our media library. And if you don't have the WordPress extra file types, you cannot do this step. You will get an error, but mine is activated. So I can add new JSON files. Let's see, downloads. It's high five. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and insert. There we go. You can see the changes are made to the uh, the shirt sleeves and skin tones. Exactly how we like it. This looks pretty good. Uh, we'd obviously want to make some adjustments. I'm going to show you how to use a link before we make edits. So I'm gonna delete this, go back into Creaty, and once you've downloaded, you'll get this embed button. Click embed, and we get a code snippet. So if we, if we add the whole code, we can use these parameters. They'll make the changes. Like if you can change the speed, but since we're grabbing this link, your changes won't be recognized because basically this code alters what's in this file request. And so don't worry about these changes. Just grab the link, go back into bricks, and we're going to go through the same process. Drag Lottie. Okay, same placeholder. And we're already in external URL, so all we need to do is copy and paste, and there we go. And this step, this method may seem a lot easier, um, and it works just fine, but we highly recommend using a JSON file so you'll have the animation on the front end of your WordPress website instead of um, the page loading and then the um, the section coming up and sending a request to create a server then rendering the animation if you upload the json file it's already there and um, it'll be faster and you won't get any server issues um, so if you can always download the json file and in this case we're able to so that's um, that's how we'd recommend um, using lottie with bricks Let's go over some of the uh, customizations in the Lottie settings drop down. We can uh, change the trigger so that goes on hover. And then um, one of the coolest things about bricks, they have this use number of loops, which I haven't seen in. Uh, in any of the builders. So this will run four times and then stop, which is pretty cool. So normally if you do loop on hover, um, it's just gonna loop forever until the animation comes out of the viewport um, or un until you've um, removed the, uh, your cursor in this case, um, you'd have viewport and it's the same idea. It runs four times and then stops. Uh, okay, and then you can change, you can reverse the script and then um, change the animation speed. 
If you want to change the uh, style, we're going to click the um, your other option um, on this uh, on the Lottie editor, and we have a couple um, parameters you can change. This will give you margin padding, also you know, size, so we can make it to a more um, appropriate size very easily. And you can do this in a number of ways with usually works. Um, you can change the positioning. Um, and then we have this wouldn't apply typography. You can add a background color or an image. Um, you can add a border. You can even change how it looks with a gradient overlay, um, transform. Uh, you'll have to add some custom CSS. Here's a CSS uh, little editor, and then you can add attributes to the animation. Um, most likely, you're going to want to play with the uh, layout to make it look good on the page. Okay, um, one thing you want to know before we go, um, if you want to change the colors, you do have this gradient option, but this is just going to put like a filter over the top of your animation. Um, but if you want to change colors, really the only way is to go back, regardless of how um, how you're uh, if you're using the file or if you're using the um, uh, the link. You want to change the colors and then do the process over again. Um, and then every other change, like all these adjustments in the embed pop-up, um, you can do on, um, on the front end. And that's like the advantage of Lottie because you can make, don't have to come back to like change the trigger or the um, delay or speed. You can just go into your builder and um, make your changes. I'll just add this real quick. Body. Just to show you how easy it is, you make a change, add the file, I five two. And there's our changes. And we can go in. So very easy to make. Make a color adjustment. Unfortunately, you can't do it on the front end, but every other change customization um, you'll have access to right under Lottie settings. All right, we are finished. Um, thanks for watching this Creative tutorial and keep an eye out for more.